Good morning, how are we doing? Hope you're good. So today we're going to talk about why the process is far more important than the outcome. Let's get into this. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through and watching, please do hit the love heart button. Please do comment that you're watching and please do share with someone that possibly needs this right now. How are we doing? I believe it's Friday again already. Looking forward to this Friday. Big shout out to the Mrs. B. It's uh, her birthday today. So we're mainly going to be celebrating with the glue that fixes, uh, keeps us together, shall we say. Um, so looking forward to that. So today I want to talk about um, realising that the process is far more important than the outcome. The process being far more important than the outcome. So here's a question for you. Do you focus more on the process or do you focus more on the outcome? Do you focus more on the process or do you focus more on the outcome? What is your sniper vision focusing on? Okay. Now, <clears throat> the way I think it goes wrong, and I've done this before as well, is that we create an outcome. We create an outcome and we judge our success on that outcome, right? So everything that we go through in the process almost gets ignored. It almost gets ignored. It almost gets left behind. And if we don't achieve that outcome, we see the whole cycle as a failure. And when we see it as a failure, we turn around and go, I'm just not good enough. It just doesn't work. I haven't quite shown up. The whole thing was pointless or worthless. So for an example, if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to lose two stone, and you're trying to lose sto two stone over a 12 week period, for example. And let's say you get to the end of that 12 weeks and you have lost a stone and a half. Your mentality then becomes one of, oh, I failed. And I see that a lot. It's not gonna be the same for everyone, but for the majority of people, most people will end up turning around and going, ah, oh, that was a fail, that was a fail. And what they would have missed is that over the 12 weeks, actually, they've dramatically won. Like, they've, they've changed the way that they live their life. Lifestyle habits, mentality, state of mind, um, stone and a half lost, ha better sex life, more energy, more optimism, higher self-esteem. So through the process, as we go through that process, we start improving ourselves, we start shifting our habits, we start becoming um, much more self-aware about our eating habits and our exercise habits. And that's just one example, right? That's just one example. So instead of focusing like on that um, outcome, instead of focusing on that, let's look at the process that creates the outcome. For me, whenever I bring clients into my world, whenever somebody takes that leap of faith and they come and join us, yes, we create plans. We create milestones or create goals. These are the things that we're trying to achieve. This is our North Star that we're trying to get to, right? But what I am more interested in is the man that you become through the process. It's the change of, um, it's the change of habits, structure. It's the confidence and passion and desire for yourself. It's the showing up, the building of character, values and principles. It's the better relationships with your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. It's the connection with your kids. As a result, it's the better sex life that you're getting. Some of you might be like, I haven't seen that part yet. <laughs> um, but it's all the small micro things. It's the gratitude. It's the happy to be alive. It's the making the most out of life, right? That's what it's about. Because that, for me, is lifelong change. That's rewiring the mentality. That's rewiring the way that you live your life. 
And whenever I bring people in, what I'm trying to achieve is not an outcome, although those things are great. It's a good, great byproduct to the to the process, right? But I think it's really, really important to understand that actually it's the process that makes the man. It's the process that makes the man, okay? And I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about, and I, and I want you to do this exercise in here, like we always like to do exercise in here. Give me three things through the process of watching this show, of being in my mastermind, of, or being on my 28 day, or having come and work with me, or just simply listening to me on social media. Three things through the process that you have improved. Like whether it's feeling more confident, whether it's having the self-esteem to ask someone out, go on a date, apply for a new job, whether it's getting you down the gym, whether it's having a healthier mind, whatever it is, whatever it is, okay, make sure you put it down here. I want your top three things that you feel that through the process you have gained. All right, guys, so listen, I have one place left to come and join our 90 day elite movement, okay? And that 90 day elite movement starts next week. You will come into our brotherhood mastermind and you will be a part of our mastermind, our brotherhood. We've got like a 150 odd guys in there, I think. Okay, you will come through and you'll go through two phases. Phase one is foundational phase. Phase two is embedding phase. And it's a process over 90 days that is going to shift the way you live your life. Okay, we're gonna have outcomes, but it's the process process links on here somewhere listen i hope you have an amazing um weekend notifications on here guys you need to be making sure that you are following um the man coach page and make sure that when you go to not notifications you get them all and it will just tell you when i go live okay or just make sure you're watching the page at half five and then we can see you all right so next week we're back to it monday morning ready to go ready to focus ready to go all in have an incredible weekend uh with the families and everyone else um and i will see you on the other side